What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassidy and this is My Plant of Paradise. So today I have a plethora of things that I need to get done regarding my plants and things around the house. So quick life update. We just found out that the city is going to, they said it shouldn't be a problem getting our lot to build our house on. We have a bunch of steps we have to do, but at least we know it's pretty much like, yeah, you can do it. Just go through all this. So I have been, today I started painting some trim to match our new baseboards that Layden is going to be putting up today. Basically, we're just getting the house ready to get to a point where we could sell it later on this year after our house is built but I'm taking a break from that and I'm going to take care of some plants so pretty much a lot of my plants are going through either really great growing phases they've all started to grow I've started to feed and fertilize them with every watering again because um, we are approaching spring um, or the plants are randomly yellowing a whole bunch of leaves <laughs> some I've noticed some spider mites on some so I kind of need to go through assess everyone and get things taken care of also that is my wedding bouquet in progress it's not real plants because I want to be able to keep it forever but you know some notable new growth this is my philodendron Jose Buono and look at this new leaf it's a freaking half moon she's getting so big I'm really proud of this plant it started off really small the leaves are probably about this big and yay wide but yeah just look at her so that's one of the newest leaves in my entire collection right now and I just think it's stunning also let's see yeah you should be able to see her that is oh, that is Jojo <laughs> on top of the grow tent. What's new? Trying to think of what other notable, well right here, looks like my alocasias are starting to wake up. So this is my alocasia black velvet and this newest leaf is coming out. It's kind of stuck under these other ones but it's got a new beautiful leaf with beautiful purple on the backs as well as my alocasia silver dragon she actually needs some water but if you look in here she's got a new leaf right there coming out which is really exciting um let's see my quilted alocasia this was one of her newest leaves as well as this one the tips have a little bit of yellowing because i did keep it in there and I moved it out so it was just adjusting to the humidity but it seems like now it's fine and it has a new leaf coming in oh, right there so that's exciting that my alocasias are all kind of waking up and getting ready for spring let's see here's my philodendron jerry horn She's in bond, so I'm trying not to completely spill it. So she is working on pushing this new leaf out. That's pretty exciting. My philodendron Florida, just regular green, has this new leaf coming out. So with my philodendrons, I've noticed they're either really waking up and they're doing pretty good right now, or they're taking just... A beating and they're gonna start dying notably my <laughs> philodendron glorious which was big and huge it just started dying so I chopped it up and I'm hoping I can salvage it but I don't know a lot of the leaves are yellowing or like there's two on the base plant I'll show you so here's the base of the plant and the two leaves I left on it are completely yellow so I don't know I'm really hoping that the nodes will activate like there is a 
growth point right there that could activate and there should be another one further down but <sighs> it's not looking great let's think of what else we could look at really quick oh this plant has been crazy for the past like month this is my pilea peperomioides and it's just booming with new growth like everywhere look that's a good shot you can see all those new leaves in there it's insane she's going crazy she really needs to be watered right now but we'll get to that in a bit so yeah i don't know i don't know if there's anything else i really am dying to show you but so i'm like I'm indifferent with my collection right now, I guess you could say. Like, I'm excited about the things that are growing, and then the things that are doing really bad, I'm like, hmm, darn. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I don't know if I have any Hoyas that are growing a whole lot right now. Let me look. Actually, this is my Hoya serrajoensis. So, it kind of stopped growing about where my hand is those leaves and now it's starting to put leaves out on the vines look how good it sun stresses it's insane look how big that leaf is so far yeah so these leaves can get so big and beautifully sun stressed so she is growing again she really probably needs to be trellised but honestly i have so many plants that are getting big like vertically <laughs> right now that I don't want to trellis too many more at the moment just because I'm running out of space. <laughs> There's actually quite a bit that's kind of starting to grow in the grow tent so I will just take you guys in there in a bit but right now let's just finish looking at things out here. This is my just green burl marks, fill it in your burl marks and if you look she's got so much new growth happening in there excited about that this is my camposporteanum and she's one of the ones that looks like she's taking this downward spiral which is really weird because she was doing good for a while i don't know this is my philodendron subhastatum and she doesn't look like she's doing good but she is so she just put out that newest leaf let's see does she have spider mites no she had some extra floral nectary, so I was thinking maybe she has spider mites again. But I don't see any. But she's finally starting to get the red on the undersides of the leaves. So that's exciting. Let me think if there's anything else I want to show you right here. This is my Skindapsis Pictus Exotica. And she is loving the pond life so far. It's kind of crazy. So, like, you can see there's new growth on that vine. This is a new leaf. And they're all kind of coming in wonky because they're kind of stuck in between and other underneath other leaves. So they all kind of have weird shapes to them. But it is seriously growing everywhere. Like, there's three more right there that are growing. So, yeah, she's doing really well. My Syngoniums all pretty much are acting like they just want to die, <laughs> which I'm kind of used to at this point. They all seem to just hate me right now, but there's this newest leaf my Syngonium Alvo put out with another new one on the way there. She looks crazy. She was looking really good a couple months ago, and now she's this with this dead leaf down there. I don't know, but... I don't know. It's a plant. I don't think there's anything else that's super notable that I want to show you guys, but I think we will just go ahead and start taking care of some plants. And I also have some plant mail that is coming in today that I'm really excited about. But yeah, here's one of my heart leaf propagations. You can tell, I don't know what that was. <laughs> She's starting to vine and trail on this side too and right there so that's exciting this is my philodendron mayo eye and she's actually starting to grow a lot and fill out so much that's a newer leaf there there there's another one 
So she's still a little wonky right now, but she's starting to get better. So I'm very, very excited about that. Okay. Let's just do, let's go look at the cabinet really quick. I don't know if anything's really going on in there, but we'll look and then we'll start some chores. Okay. So I guess in here we've got this little Anthurium doriaki. That's a new leaf still growing in. The mama still has some new growth happening. Roxanne is getting some water. This is where I was seeing some spider mites was in the cabinet. I don't really see any on that leaf. This guy definitely had them, but I did already take them off once so i hope she's good here's my mini varicosum she's growing another leaf right there at the top she looks kind of stuck but hopefully she'll figure it out go that way <laughs> i don't know if that'll help much um yeah there's not too much oh look there's a new Anthurium chamberlainii leaf. Let's see, you might be growing something right there. This Hoya obovata variegated. It had two leaves here and dropped them. And now it has these three. I'm hoping she actually grows those out. I'm ready for more leaves. Um, this Hoya Miari Jaya is putting out new growth on the vines, but no actual, actual leaves. Here is a Kadata Sumatra new leaf. There's another couple over here. There's one. There's one. That one's still really soft. That has more growing to do. My Croniana Super Silver that is no longer super silvery it's just i don't know splashy little baby hoya matilde cutting um looks like my meridithii has some new growth right there and nope there's none down there yet my sunrise is definitely growing again there's those two new leaves and then there's a new back there and down in there there's more so that is a good sign let's see the Hoya Chelsea is growing but she's kind of always growing so that's no surprise um look here she is again um this variegated epipremnum hates me here's my chopped up monstera peru starting to get some roots um and then these cuttings as well those could probably be potted up soon we might look at those today my monstera siltipicana she still looks scraggly and weird i don't know but i think that's just about it what's up guys so i've just been doing some housework before i got into plant chores and I had a package delivered. And I'm guessing it is my plants. Actually, I know it's my plants because I haven't ordered anything else. So I figured we could open it really quick together. So I just kind of have the camera on a makeshift setup. So not super professional, but. So these are two wish list Hoyas from Yorba Plants. Once again, I had such a great experience with getting my rinsey eye Borneo. Vixen's crying. Vixen, you're fine. I had such a good experience getting my rinsey eye Borneo from Yorba Plants that I decided I wanted to order more and yeah so she had two wishless hoyas again with the really great packaging it's all protected and the cute little care cards for both of my hoyas so that kind of tells you what they are right there but 
I'm so excited. So excited. Here come the cats. They love when I'm opening packages. I wish they wouldn't come over here though because I have a knife. But looks like Roxanne's in here too. Everybody wants to see what mama got. Roxanne's in the living room crying because Sky is on this side. So, so we act update while I'm getting this open on the dogs. We've been fight free this whole time. Um, and we go back to the trainer next week. So yeah, just doing our thing, keeping them separated. We are still working on the things we have learned training with them separately. Um, and I actually think maybe this week we'll try to do more training with them together in the same room, but obviously on leashes with both Layden and me home to, you know, take care of them. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get this open really quick and then I'll show you guys. It's always taped super well. Got that off and if you can see there's styrofoam inside of the like aluminum packaging and then the nice hard cardboard i'm serious you guys like the packaging is so good like the plants are so protected so i don't know i just continue to be impressed what it's looking like on the inside. Once again, Jojo loves when I open packages. She thinks it's all for her. Really, it's all the stuffing for her. Okay, and here they are bundled up together. And then you can also see she made sure to tape down and protect the vine that one of the Hoyas have, which is really awesome. I'm serious, her packaging is just so good. Like that, even just that little extra bit helped to make sure that this vine was not damaged in shipping. Okay, now we have to get this untaped from the cardboard. Go Zizi, I don't want you getting cut. Wild knife happenings here. Okay. Got it all apart. Now let's see. Get them separate from each other. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so this first Hoya here, this is the Hoya AH04 or 074. Um yeah, I have wanted one of these for a while, but I hadn't pulled the trigger yet. And just look at that leaf right there. It is stunning. And then this guy, this is the Hoya Crassi Petiolata Splash. I may have not said that right, but look at those leaves. Nope, it's easy. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited. So we will go get these potted up here in just a bit. What's up guys? So I want to go ahead. Let me get where you can see me. I want to go ahead and look at these roots and then get these guys potted up. I know I just had, oh, here it is. Okay. So I want to get them potted up, but I'm not sure what the roots are looking like. So let's go ahead and get into them. Ooh, it hit me in the face. Now, LARP did tell me, and she told me before I ever purchased this plant, that the Hoya Crassi Petiolata Splash was pretty freshly imported. So, but you know, I'm impatient and I was ready for it now. So yeah, that is one thing to remember. I 
phone is ringing. Okay, anyways, so this is what the Crassy Petiolata Splash Roots look like. Honestly, they look how I kind of assumed they would for a fresh import. Um, yeah, so I might just cut them all off. Probably gonna cut them all off. So that's what they look like. But again, LARP, Yorba Plants, did tell me before I purchased it that this was freshly imported. So I'm not like surprised or upset or anything by it because she told me. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. I can acclimatize it to my home straight up instead of having to do like LARP getting it acclimatized to her environment and then then shipping it to me and then it having to get acclimated to my environment so I just cut all the leaves off or not the leaves the roots off and then let's see what this looks like and again I'm really I'm I'm not worried about it or like upset about it I was aware actually when I'm looking at it it looks like the end might have actually already died off oh yeah I think the bottom to this has already died off right there see how it's dark so I'm actually gonna cut it up above that looks healthy in there so so that is what it's basically like an unrooted cutting but anyways let's look at this AH074 see what she looks like oh yeah see this is Yorba plants roots these are healthy they're not falling off the stem is good so yeah, I'm not, not shocked. So look at these roots on the AH074. So if you don't purchase something that is a fresh import and LARP and Yorba plants has already started gotten, getting it rooted for you, you're gonna get good roots. She's very upfront. She's not trying to trick anybody or like deceive anyone. She told me, it, this crassy is a fresh import so anyhow let's get a little some little vessels to put these in okay so <laughs> I forgot I was painting trim and I got some paint on my shirt but anyways I got these little white not white <laughs> clear cups I've already used them before that's why they're really kind of foggy and gross looking but I don't really want to just throw them out I'd rather reuse them as much as I can um anyways so let's get these guys potted up so this is the AH074 I need to turn off my phone volume it won't stop going off so let's get her potted up Yeah, so she has good roots already. I'm very pleased. And like when I got my Rinsey Eye Borneo, she's rooted. It not not a crazy thing for a fresh import to need to be rerouted. Okay. So there's that guy and actually Jodo. And actually if you look right there, there's already some new growth coming in. So that is the <laughs> I saw Jodo fall in the back. That's the AH074 all potted up. Now let's do this crassy petulata. Just putting a bunch in there because it doesn't have any roots. Hey, uh-uh. So 
So I'm going to try to get this stem fairly far in there because I know roots come out faster from node, the actual node. So Hoyas can root from anywhere along the stem, but they will root faster, I've noticed, if they have a node. So I want to get this node to where it's touching the substrate. And I think Layton just got home, so if you hear some commotion, that is what it is. I might need to get up to make sure the dogs are good. They were napping, but they will have woken up hearing the garage door open. And there is the Crassy Petiolata Splash. It's so pretty. I hope it does well and roots up for me. I think this I might put in my terrarium or aquarium, my glass box <laughs> to root. And then after I notice that it has some roots on it, then I might move it to the grow tent because the grow tent light is so strong and it stays so hot in there I'm afraid it'll dry out and just kind of shrivel up before it has a chance to root but the AH074 I'm not worried about putting straight into the grow tent what's up friends so <laughs> it's a different day than whenever this video started I think I was looking at propagations and such and then Layden got home and he was doing the baseboards and it was too loud for me to film anymore because like the nail gun and all that. But hey, it's a new day and I'm here. Hello. So we're just going to look at some stuff for the rest of this video. And yeah, I don't really have a plan. Hello, my dear. I'm trying to do something. Petey Gale. Well, I guess I'm just gonna pet my dog and then maybe we'll do plant stuff. <laughs> what doing? Okay, so I'm doing something, I'm doing something. So this is my Paraiso Verde. Can't you see? It's solid green. So yeah. That's annoying, but the reason I have it out is because of this. If you can see, like what is that? What are you doing? So I was just gonna rescue it really quick. Vixen is adamant about getting attention at the moment, but I'm doing something. So we're just gonna get her out. See, sister, you just can't really be in here. All up in my grill. Got it out. There it is. And I really, I shouldn't do this, but I want to peek at it and see if it's continuing on its lack of variegation. And if it is, I think I just give up on this plant because I had gotten one to come back and I thought. Maybe chopping it up was going to help. And I increased the light and the heat by putting it in my grow tent. Because I've heard people say if you do that, the variegation will come in. But as you can see, she's just remained solid green. So, yeah. And I think... Yep, looks like we're still going to be solid green. So that's my Paraiso Verde. It looks like a Burl Marks at this point. It's got great roots. <laughs> it's just in Lekka. Because, I don't know, I just was wanted to try to grow it in Lekka. <sighs> Whatever. I have another one. Hold on. 
other Pure Silverde, and this is the one where the variegation came back after I cut it. If you see on that leaf, it was variegated. And then the one after that had a little bit. So I was like, okay, we figured it out. And then the one after that is green again. And this newest one is still green. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'll just have two green Pareso Verdes. I might bring this one out of the grow tent. Might as well just switch up the care a little bit. So that maybe we can get some variegation, but it's just, it's not looking super promising. <laughs> By Florida Ghost just put out this new leaf right here and then there's another one right there that's trying to get out of its sheath. So I'm going to help it a little bit. I'm really bad about that and I don't recommend it because I know you can cause damage to the leaves. But it's also like, what if... I leave it alone and the leaf just damages itself anyways. So it's a gamble, but this one won't be hard to get out. I just need to pull this back some so she can pop on out of there. I might just pull it off. You're not supposed to do that either because the sheath is meant to protect the new growth of the plant. So when you pull it off, then you're just taking away that protection essentially but they always just get in the way and make my plants die so there she is now free but the uh, the other new growth point is like stuck inside of it might have to unwrap you a bit to let go of that new growth point oh there we go Haha, <laughs> I've done it. Mm, I don't want to break it, I don't want to break it, I don't want to break it. Okay, there. <laughs> there, she is freed. So, this is my regular philodendron Florida. And this leaf is like trying to unfurl. Let me see if I can find the part though. But it's like right here. It is so like pressed on there. If you can see right there. That it won't unfurl all the way. So I just got this wet washcloth. I need an empty spray bottle. And I had one but I don't know where it went. Because I'd like to spray it to help release that. But... I don't know where it went. So I'm just rubbing all around that area with this microfiber cloth that I got a little bit to see if it'll help release it. <laughs> but it doesn't look like it's helping. Oh, I think I got it. I got it, I got it. There we go. There you go, my dear child. Okay, so there. Now it is free to unfurl the rest of the way. I just had to get that off there because it was it was on tight. Really tight. So yeah, there's my philodendron Florida. Just the regular green version. Oh wow. <laughs> Look what I just noticed. That's the roots of the philodendron Florida. Oh well. Okay, so I actually have 
this philodendron jerry horn that keeps falling over in this situation so i think i'm just gonna plant it instead of in this net pot i'm gonna put it down into this cup because it keeps getting knocked over and it's falling over and it's kind of heavy like top heavy this is what vixen just spilt from the jerry horn just trying to pick that up so yeah oh and this i also want to repot but first let's look at this jerry horn and see what we're dealing with so i'm just going to empty it down into my bucket right here of my diy pond mixture and see yeah so it's got a lot of roots but i think they're drying out like they're not rotting they're drying out in that net pot but you can see there is some new root growth as well so i'm just gonna pop her into here and let her try to fill out a little bit more just straight down into the cup instead of in a net pot in the cup. <sighs> yep. So that's that. So yeah. Hope everybody's been having a good week. I feel like this video is going to be really random and just kind of all over the place. But I think I'm going to also film another video for you guys today that you'll see later this week. Um, and just showing you some new Hoya growth. Because there's a lot. I did start fertilizing everything regularly again. And so everything's kind of waking up and we're getting ready for spring. So, there's the Jerry Horn repotted into just this little cup. And that needs to be watered. And now this is a really gangly, ugly <laughs> kind of philodendron pastazanum. It's just a baby off of the mother plant. I grew it from a node off the mother. And I've been growing it in DIY Pond. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but she's completely rooted in this cup. So I think it's time I get her out of it and into a bigger vessel, which I think, crap, I don't know what I want to use. Let's find that out real quick. I'll just use this mason jar that needs to be cleaned. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm just really lazy plant care at the moment. I've kind of shifted my goals. Not that I don't want to take care of plants anymore, but they're not going to be taking as much of my time up as I am entering contest prep for my first bodybuilding competition. So I really want to give that my all because it's always been a dream of mine to do. And yeah, I don't want to put it on the back burner anymore. So not that I'm not going to be taking care of my plants or posting on this channel anymore. It's just I'm trying to more evenly divide out my time, if that makes sense. Because my plants have taken a lot of my time lately just because I've been wanting to start my YouTube channel and all that. Um, and just because my mental health hasn't been the best the past couple months ever since the dogs fought. And it was like my plants were my getaway from that. But now that I am feeling a little bit better, I'm ready to take on other things rather than just surrounding myself with just my plants if that makes sense so that is the roots that we have on this pasta zanum it's kind of insane and i don't think i can even get that in this jar huh i really like to keep my pawn in clear containers 
but I don't know what I could put this in. I'm kind of running out of containers at the moment. Ooh, it has so many roots, it's really awesome. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I'm gonna find a different container to put this in. Cause like I'd use something like this, but that's just, that's way too big. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put it in this little like clear flimsy pot inside something else. Maybe this one actually. I'll put it inside that. That should fit. Yeah, we'll do that. Works for me. Because that little flimsy pot does have a little drainage hole. Okay. So yeah, I'm just basically at a point in my life where I'm going to have to learn how to prioritize. And which is something I'm not very good at. And also, I've realized I've honestly kind of set myself up for failure this year because I am undertaking so much at once. So I started my plant YouTube channel September of last year um, and also am trying to revive my other YouTube channel, which should be revived this week as well and but also so i'm wanting to obviously grow those just because it's more fun and i don't know it's it, it's exciting for me and motivating and it helps keep me accountable in a lot of ways so i started those and i've been wanting to do that but then i'm also getting married this year and we are also building a house this year and I'm having to do more at my job and I'm wanting to do my first bodybuilding competition. It's just kind of like I took on a whole lot of stuff at one time in my life and I didn't think about like why all in one year, <laughs> but I don't know. So I'm going to have to learn how to prioritize, but there is the pasta zanum repotted and another reason why i wanted to uh up pot this is because i think it is trying to mature a lot as well because if you can see it has switched from petiole growth to caterpillar growth so yeah just figured it was time to repot her so now this also needs water i'm gonna see if there's anything else that just kind of desperately needs repotting really quick okay so actually I realized I have been wanting to repot my Hoya Rincii Borneo because it hasn't done anything and that's probably normal for this Hoya but it's not normal for Hoyas in my care and I know that's gonna sound like a big brag but I usually can get Hoyas to grow for me within the first couple months I'll see at least a sign of growth and on my Rincii Borneo as you can see there's no signs of growth on her so I want to give it a bigger container and I'm gonna do this one um, and in here currently is my Hoya Serpens little baby and I'm just basically gonna switch these two because that teeny tiny Hoya Serpens doesn't need a big container and it'll do fine in this little cup and I want to see what these roots look like and maybe give them more room. I'm wondering maybe I don't know I was gonna say maybe these roots are rotted but they're not Yeah, I don't know why, why she won't grow. And it could just be this Hoya and I'm impatient. That's always a possibility, but like I said, I'm impatient. So don't want to wait anymore. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, I was really thinking 
for some reason that the serpents had more roots, but I think I let it dry out. Oops. So, yeah, that's not great, but we're going to keep drying. I've already killed a full plant of Hoya serpent, so I'd like to make a comeback with this guy. Okay, so I'm actually going to try to wipe out some of this algae. You can tell I care a little bit more about my <laughs> Hoyas compared to my philodendrons because I'm actually willing to give this a little scrub before potting my Hoyas into it. Whereas if it was a philodendron, I'd probably have just left it. So, anyways, I'm gonna put the Rincii Borneo in here. She actually has some, it's like dirt, not dirt, like orchid bark, bark moss, and perlite is looks like what was being used. But you know, my DIY pond mix just kinda seems to do the trick for Hoyas for me. So we're gonna try that instead. So I'm just filling around there. So there is the Hoya Rincii Borneo repotted into this little jar. So now that is going to need water. And now we're going to do the Hoya Serpents, which I'm not sure if she'll make it. I want her to make it. I'm trying to get I'm just kind of holding her in there for right now. Trying to somewhat bury these roots. But not completely bury the leaves. That kind of maybe did it. She looks a bit silly, but there's my Hoya Serpents repotted up. I'd probably, I don't know, I'd probably have maybe an easier time with an established Hoya Serpents rather than this teeny tiny cutting, but I also have already killed one. Granted, I killed it because I chopped it up into little pieces, but. I have already killed one, so I don't really want to purchase another one, per se. So yeah, let's water these. Okay, so I have my mix of orchid fertilizer and fish fertilizer in my watering can. And I'm just going to water down into these. All these guys we just repotted. 
So that's about the level I'll fill my DIY pond. It's like right about there. For pretty much all of my plants, unless I know the roots are like way higher up and it's gonna take them a bit to be able to reach, I'll maybe fill it a little higher, but that is about the level I try to keep it at. And last but not least, this guy. So yeah, my philodendrons, I don't necessarily need to give the orchid fertilizer, but I'm too lazy to make up two watering cans of water. <laughs> so, anyways, I think that's pretty much going to end it for today's video. I know it's kind of all over the place and doesn't really have a clear vision or purpose to it, but that's just how it ended up. I am going to be filming some more videos today and this week. I have a lot of ideas I want to do, so be on the lookout for those. And yeah, until then, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any more videos. You can also give this video a like if you liked it. And yeah, leave me a comment on what you want to see, what you enjoy seeing. I'm always down to hear your suggestions and ideas. And if you want more content by me, go subscribe to my other YouTube channel and my Instagram. You can follow. You can also follow my personal Instagram and I will have everything linked down below. I'm also going to link Yorba plants in the description down below because... I love LARP and I will continue to buy from LARP forever, but anyways, that's it for me for today, so yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and week and month and just, I hope everything is great for you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.